speaking of that's apps what I do. and all this technology here that we're talking about <laughs> on this global front in which we live on, I'd like to uh, go ahead and segue into my. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to go ahead and uh, segue into my topic now. All right, so um, my topic this week is one word: it's singularity. I have oh. links down below um, to a video kind of giving a lot more description than my small de- descriptive that I'm about to give right now. He's just uh, playing with his tech deck. <laughs> That's all that was. <laughs> wow. Uh, um, I'm playing annotations probably. Um, so singularity is basically the idea of if technology is increasing so rapidly, at some point AI will meet up to the human brain power. And at that point, um, you know, hu- uh, robots were already going to be learning and all this stuff. However, the other side of the, the coin is humans themselves. They might want to use this uh, AI and, <laughs> uh, technology and maybe implant it into their own brain. So singularity is the point when humans and machines become one. And I just want to see your guys' opinion. Like, what you think? Is this possible? Will this happen? Why? What? You know, what What are your opinions on the, the whole singularity possibilities? Uh, humans and, 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 and technology becoming one, um, it's pretty fucking scary, to be honest. Um, yep. It's groundbreaking because, like, wow, we've, we've reached this point in technology where you can actually sync your brain up to, to you yes. know, the cloud. And you'll be able to know of anything, learn languages in a matter of minutes or days or whatever. And it's just like, wow. But at the same time, it's like, if that can happen... Would that mean robots can like start feeling humanish and then they might take over the world and all that? All um, Will Terminator. Smith Terminator and then the Will Smith movie I robot, with all the I robots robot. and shit like that. I'm just like I'm kind of scared for that, man. I'm I don't know. Call me technologist. No, that doesn't work. Racist plus technology put together. Mm, Raceologists. Um, Racial. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you're, you're studying old races. I almost I believed him on that one. But anyways, just call me whatever that word is, and um, it might be true, but just really scared for it. Speaking of you being a technologist, um, Obama actually went to Japan. Did you guys hear about this? Yeah, I he, saw he, it. He I saw it. Yeah. And yeah, he actually met Osimo, the Honda robot. He's actually pretty dope. Osimo's pretty awesome. Yeah. Osimo. He said that he played soccer with him. He's like, look, nigga, I can kick a ball. And he kicked the ball, and then at that point, he was like, robots are kind of scary. <laughs> Wait, did you say, look, nigga, I can kick a ball? I mean, he didn't really say that. I mean, but he kicked the ball across the room. Uh, they're pretty. I actually got to see that video. Um, yeah. It was probably like three or four minutes long. And he actually did get to toss the ball with the robot. And the robot had like lifelike movements and stuff. and stuff. Like he was jogging, passing, talking. So it was kind of yeah. really intense Juggling. stuff. Fran was showing me this uh, this video online. It was like some robot technology. I guess Google had it where there was like this leopard or something. Yeah, when they're doing their buyouts. And the, and the leopard was like running like all oh, extra fast and stuff. And I was like, dang, if they put a gun on that, you know how many niggas they do be killing and stuff? Like, that's just not, that's that's just not cool. Hood. It's real scary. Yeah. So Technology is definitely scary. But you were talking about Osmo and like, the crazy thing is all that stuff that you know you see that's televised like the the run-in with the president and all this when they're playing soccer all of that he's specifically programmed for that so of yeah. course it looks smooth and, and everything like that but it's really like not that that uh, like he said it powerful. takes a long time to actually record all yeah, that basically it's not that powerful to to you know really get stuff like that done at this point however it's still doable and it looks great but over time it'll just improve rapidly and yeah. that, that's where it gets scary really at this point they compare robots to um i think like in an interview i saw like brain dead cockroaches yeah like they have to literally look like what is this thing scan this thing is our microphone scan what does a microphone do scan and said like we as a human know exactly what this is and we just use it you know so there's a lot more programming that goes into it that they just don't have but yeah but once they get that programming down like don't you think that it's all this what is this thing what goes into this thing what does this thing do don't you think that'll happen in a matter of seconds yeah it will but it'll take years to get to that point uh, mm-hmm. as far as being able to program because like they're still learning how the mind works so in order to make artificial intelligence properly you got to fully understand the mind and all this That's stuff so. mm-hmm. 
Yeah, all this stuff's really fascinating to me, but I just want to know your guys' opinions on it. I mean, I think that whole... I'm talking. The whole point <laughs> could happen. I mean, <laughs> He's like... He's talking like adults. <laughs> I guess it's his turn, man. Yeah, it's his turn. So it's kind of like, if you think about it, they will... I, I think, personally, that they'll catch up to the human thinking. Yeah. But it's... It's kind of weird because you want to see like how far you can take the technology, but at the same point, do you want to take it that far to where we're like the same? Because at that point, they can just take over us and become the superior race. Yeah, I'd almost assume if they're if humans are smart enough to assemble this uh, robot, you would think there'd be like that one chip where they figure, oh, with this they can't have you know learning powers. It's only what's programmed. You yeah. know, something like that. I would I would assume they'll think. If they're smart enough to think of this creation, they'll think of some kind of backup switch, too. Yeah, but if they're talking about singularity, the point where technology can learn more at a faster rate and know more at a faster rate than the humans, Mm -hmm. we might be able to know how to do that. But once we give this technology a mind of its own, they may be able to think about how to stop us from doing that before they can do it. So. you never really know which way it goes, but I'm just hoping that... <laughs> Team Humans! We, he, he, Team Humans? Team He's Humans! Hoping. We wish. <laughs> yeah. But not necessarily. It's it's based off, like, um, the technology, you know, turning bad on itself, but mm. another human trying to Teaching use... Teaching it or using yeah, it, using using it for it something that's bad. Mm-hmm. Like using, like, a leopard in a real-life, like, setting? You can't just take it down that easily. <laughs> that shit <laughs> will kill you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh. Breaking the banks to steal the money, like that's that's all you need is leopards and banks, and you're good. Yeah. And lots and lots of money. 